Hello, and welcome to the McTaggart Attack Podcast. I'm Kevin McTaggart, and in this episode, I'm going to explain why I think Kurt Schilling deserves to be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Let me know what you think of this episode by commenting in the YouTube video, liking or disliking the video, or emailing me mctaggartattack at gmail.com, or finding me on social media at McTaggart Attack on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Let's get on with the episode. So 2004. I'm a Boston Red Sox fan. I've been in my entire life. So excited for this to happen. They beat the Yankees in dramatic fashion, fashion off of Kurt Schilling's red bloody sock. Definitely the hero. We got him that year in free agency. Heck of a pickup. Did a great job. Then they went on and swept the Cardinals to win the first World Series in my lifetime. The first World Series since 1918. It was great. It was fantastic. I was so excited. It was fantastic. And then the day after they beat the Cardinals in the World Series, Kurt Schilling shows up at a George W. Bush rally in New Hampshire. And I was like, what the fuck? Seriously? Seriously? I liked this guy yesterday. I loved this guy yesterday. This guy gave my favorite team a world championship the first time in, I can't remember how many fucking years it is, 86? It was 86 years, right? Yeah, anyway. And the nerve, the gall, the audacity of him to show up at a a George W. Bush rally. Gotta be kidding me. It's just, it's frustrating. It really is. It was frustrating. And then a few years later, you know, Twitter becomes a thing. And Kurt Schilling's on Twitter. And he's really Republican then. Or, I mean, he was Republican before. But you really see how Republican he is at that point. I think, actually, I don't think it ever really got, was that bad at first. I think, I don't think he talked about politics right away. I I actually liked enjoyed following him on Twitter, I think. He did a good job. He, did, he was a fun follow on Twitter. And then he got into politics. Especially, I forget how it was, but there were so many circumstances. Like, I know he lost his job at ESPN because of the things that he was tweeting. I know that he... One thing that I thought was cool was when um, the... Some people on Twitter were harassing his teenage daughter. So he went and found them. He hunted them down and found these guys to, to ask them, Hey, um, not so brave now. You know, now that I see you and have contacted you outside of your Twitter handle, right? Don't harass teenagers. Unless they deserve it. But no, no never harass teenagers. But anyway, and then... Trump, Trump happens. Trump happens. That's that's the best way to explain it. Is Trump happens, and Schilling, of course, is a staunch Trump supporter. It's crazy. He, he, he I, I don't. I I I stopped following him on Twitter at some point. I forget when that point was, but I stopped following him. And, um, yeah, just, I, 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 I think he was in favor of the insurrection that happened a couple weeks ago. But this week, the Hall of Fame vote for this year's class occurred. And Kurt Schilling was a great baseball player. 
my Hall of Fame rule is, if I answer yes right away, I think he's a Hall of Famer. Or I need it to be, it's more definitive than that. If you ask me if someone's a Hall of Famer and I say yes right away, they are definitely Hall of Fame material. Should be in a Hall of Fame. So when you ask me if Kurt Schilling, the baseball player, is a Hall of Famer or belongs in the Hall of Fame, my answer is yes. Because he does. He's a great, he was a great baseball player. Character-wise, though, I'm not so sure about that. Because as there is all that stuff with tweeting, as I mentioned, there's also the video game company that he was the owner of, and then they lost money, and everybody got laid off without knowing that they got laid off, and they lost their health insurance, and all that stuff. He ruined people's lives. But he's a great baseball player. And he belongs in the Hall of Fame. Kurt Schilling belongs in the Hall of Fame. As a baseball player. But in my opinion, that's about it. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't agree with any of his tweets. I don't agree with anything, most things that he does online. I don't agree with his opinions. He probably doesn't agree with my opinions. But one thing that I do agree with, though, is that he should be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Character issues? I'm pretty sure, if I can try to think of it somehow, he seems like a pretty loyal guy. So if he's on your team, he's got your back. But if he's not on your team, then you can go fuck yourself. That's what just that's just what I gleaned from it. So it's just like I think he's definitely a great baseball player, but he's not a great human being in my opinion. But he should be in the Hall of Fame. Who cares what he does outside of baseball? This is the Baseball Hall of Fame. When it comes to the Baseball Hall of Fame, he belongs in the Baseball Hall of Fame. He could also belong in the Insurrectionist Hall of Fame also. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not I'm not sure. That's not what this podcast episode is about. This is today's episode is me explaining why I think Kurt Schilling belongs in the Hall of Fame. Like he went to he won three World Series for two different teams. He won one for Arizona. He went to Arizona, won the more World Series. Then he went to Boston and won two World Series. What more can you ask for? He he gave his blood, sweat, and tears to help the Red Sox win the World Series in 2004. What more can you ask for? He got the Red Sox their first... He helped get the Red Sox their first World Series in 86 years. Do I seriously have the math right on that? I think I do. Yeah, I do. It's 86. But yeah, it's just he, he definitely belongs in the Hall of Fame. I know his regular season statistics aren't as good as most pitchers because I don't believe he has that coveted 300 win mark. But you have to count his postseason performance and his career because that's what his career entailed. His career entailed regular and postseason. So you have to include that stuff. And he's a winner. And he won in most places that he went to. Well, except the Phillies, but the Phillies sucked when he was there, I think. But he's definitely, he definitely belongs in the Baseball Hall of Fame, regardless of what he's done since he retired, regardless of the number of people that he's pissed off because of the way he runs things or what he says or what he does. I mean, we're, nobody's perfect. And I love how the people that judge him are being all high and mighty. Like the baseball writers are all high and mighty about this. When some of them are degenerate scum, probably. And it's just ridiculous. Hall, my, my stance, Hall of Fames are bullshit anyway. Because they allow too many people into the Hall of Fame. That's one thing I like about the Baseball Hall of Fame is this year, for example, they didn't induct anyone. They didn't vote for anyone. No one met their requirements this year to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, which is great. 
All leagues should have that. It's okay for you not to have players who are enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Especially, you know, so that's great. But I think they're missing out that Kurt Schilling should definitely be in the Hall of Fame based on his postseason career alone. And also the way that baseball does it is kind of bullshit, though, because it's the baseball writers, you know, and they're... I've not heard good things about the baseball writers. They're petty. They do things for petty reasons. They'll not vote for somebody. They won't make people unanimous selections. They've only had like one unanimous selection. I think Mariano, Mariano Rivera was like the only unanimous selection ever, ever. That's how petty the baseball writers are. And now they're trying to be all high and mighty with chilling. When there's Ty Cobb is in the Hall of Fame. There's so many degenerate asshole, racist, piece of shit dirtbags in the Hall of Fame already. People on drugs, stuff, all this shit. And Kurt Schilling's not in the Hall of Fame because of his tweets? Really? I don't agree with his tweets, but I mean, you put him in based on his career. He did nothing wrong when he was a baseball player. Never cheated or anything when he was a baseball player. It's outside of baseball that people are judging him on. And they shouldn't be doing that. You judge him based on his baseball career. And his baseball career, to me, says Hall of Famer. Like, it, Pete Rose bet on baseball games while he was a manager of a baseball team. He should never be in the Hall of Fame while he's still alive. That should be a posthumous selection, if anything. Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens allegedly did steroids. But baseball's stance on steroids is kind of bullshit. So I I, I, I know it's cheating, but I still think they should, they should be allowed in the Hall of Fame. Even though I said that it's kind of cheating. But I mean, I, was it really cheating if everybody was doing it? I don't know. I just, I just think baseball needs to make a note of the steroid era, but then let just let those guys in. Who cares? Steroids made the game more popular. You know, it's just bullshit. But back to my main point, and I'll leave it at this. Just, I know people hate, for the most part, Schilling's tweets and the way he handled that video game company. And those are all outside of baseball. But while he was a baseball player, he did a damn good job and deserves to be in the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. And that's all I've got to say about that. Thank you so much for watching and or listening to the episode today. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to let me know what you thought. And that's the bottom line. If you smell what the McTaggart Attack podcast is cooking.